Hi. After installation, the application button should appear inside the assembly panel. If it doesn't show up here, please go to Tools, Add-ins, Find Place Fasteners, and please make sure that uh, all checkboxes are enabled. Now, run the application. First of all, we need to prepare the application for work. We need to go to Settings, select the system. I will be using Metric and uh, uh, assign which fasteners we are going to use for each item. We can use content center fasteners, we can use lo any local fasteners like iFactory members, normal inventor parts, parts imported from third parties like step files, and so on. So select the item and click edit. For starters, I will be using content center items. This application supports five different materials for each item. I have already defined my material families. I need to just add them to the application. Click OK. Now select the material and click Add one. Uh, now I need to select two edges. First edge, second edge, and the size of the fasteners are automatically selected from the selected edges. I can extend the bolt a little, click apply. All fasteners are placed inside the folder. Now let's now let's add some countersunk items. Click apply. Uh, a component pattern is created. If you don't want this, you can uncheck follow pattern checkbox. Now let's select another set and select another material. Click add group. Select two edges. Extend a little threaded rod. Oh, looks great. Now let's add a group of threaded rods here. Lengthen a little. Now let's add some knots. We'll do that with add one by one function. Click apply. Let's add another group of fasteners. Click add multi group. Apply. Now, when we use multi group, we can select other faces to populate fasteners. Done. Select this set, add group, click apply. Okay, looks great. Now let's add to the application fasteners which are not from Content Center. For that, we need to go to Settings. Let's say we want to add this uh, flanged button head screw. I have already downloaded some files from the web. Uh, I downloaded step files and then uh, created inventor parts from them. This is the items. Just normal fasteners. Um, now, for now, just click OK. I will show you these fasteners simple inventor files which, which do not even have the browser tree now let's run the application again and open excel settings 
this is where we can open the Excel document which contains all information about our local fasteners. Click open Excel document. This document consists of number of number of pages. Each page represents the local fastener. Each local fastener can have also five materials. Uh, each material group consists of four columns. Three of the three of them are necessary. This is the thread size, length, and full file path. The edge column is optional. So, for instance. Um, I have already filled out some information about the first item. So I put information about the thread. This is inch dimensions. So quarter of an inch, for instance, uh, two inch length, edge I omit, uh, and also specify the location of the file. And by the way, please do not rename the page names because um, the application heavily relies on the names of the pages. Um, this is um, I have already defined, but I will do that just for the demonstration purpose. So um, let's say I want to add these fasteners to my application. Select all these fasteners, copy pass, select the cell of the fit column widths and uh, so we've pasted the number of paths and now we need to define which size and length or that fastener represents this would be m6 and then mil and now we can use built-in Excel functionality so it will do a lot of work for us it is smart enough to extract the length and the size of the bolt from the name of the file now click save uh, let's now let's open the in the application again this is my application okay now go to settings select this item click edit and here we need to check use from excel and click load data for active item so all information is loaded click done and now let's try to use these fasteners click add to group Okay, as you can see, Inventor automatically placed this fastener, so it automatically found um, the edge for constraining. Now click Apply. Okay, looks great. Uh, we can also place fasteners without constraining to the model. For instance, click Add Free. and the items are placed in the free model space okay now let's do some more work for excel integration so let's pretend that we want to use all fasteners from excel document we click edit click uh, use from excel and click load data for all items that means that all items will be taken from excel document it will take some time so i will pause the video for a second okay the process is done click done as we can see all items are taken from excel and since uh, the information i've provided in the excel document uh, concerned inch fastener I have to select inch system okay now let's try to add new items I will delete the previous items first okay click add group 
uh, sorry i forgot to check which material i have to select the material number one because in the excel document there is no information about the material number two at group okay as you can see this is not content center fasteners but works the same way Great. Let's add some other sets. Add a multi group. Great. Size is automatically derived. Click apply. Now let's select other faces. Great. Okay, we've got a warning that while placing the application detected interference. Actually, we can see that I forgot to add the slotted hole, but there is a hole beneath. So this is a problem with my model. It is great to have such a warning. Okay, let's proceed. Also add group. Looks great. Okay, now I'm going to show you where actually do we use this optional edge column. Sometimes the application fails to constrain the fastener properly. So I will show you where this happens. For instance, um, I want to add this knot. I'm sorry, need to check the metric system because the problem with my knot happens for metric knot. Okay. Uh, this is because um, I fixed it actually the problem, but I will show you that how that would be without edge column. So let's go to settings, edit, load data. When there is no information about that edge, the application will place the, this knot upside down. This is not correct. So what we can do? Uh, there is an extra helper in Excel settings, it's uh, select edge button. We can point the edge we want to use for constraining. I want to use this edge. And application tells us that this is edge number five. So just copy this number, find the knot we want to, to use. And since I know that all this nuts are derived from a single parent so i can easily place this number for oops, sorry for all items click save and now i need to refresh the information edit load data for active item so as you can see number five appeared here click ok and now let's try add this knot again. And as we can see, everything is okay now. So this is how you use this optional edge column. This is the same, this works the same way for all fasteners. Okay then, this is all I wanted to show you. Thank you for your time. Hope you enjoyed this app. See you, bye bye.